How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got an exciting topic for all you aspiring entrepreneurs out there and investors. I'll be sharing the ultimate guide on buying an e-commerce business packed with 17 expert tips to help you make sure that you have a successful purchase. So if you're ready to dive into the world of e-commerce, hit the subscribe button and let's get started. Number one, conduct a thorough due diligence process, which is the first step in buying an e-commerce business. You want to investigate the financial statements, the website analytics, and even how to have a productive conversation with the current owner. By conducting a thorough due diligence process, you get all the information about the business that will help you make an educated decision whether the business is right for you or not. Next, you want to understand the niche because it's crucial for making the right decision for you. You want to go through the process of familiarizing yourself with the industry, analyzing the market demand, the competition, and consumer behavior. With all this knowledge, you'll be able to spot the hidden opportunities for growth, which are key to scaling that business. Next, a successful e-commerce business should have the potential for growth. You want to look for that scalability, but without additional investments that need to be put in or drastic investments. This will help make the difference in the long term of the success of your business. Keep in mind that e-commerce platforms play a vital role in a business's success. You want to compare the popular platforms like Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, all the platforms out there. By comparing them all, it will help you choose the right one based on your skills and resources because not all platforms are favorable for all the buyers out there. You also want to consider traffic and revenue resources because these are the lifeblood of an e-commerce business. You want to analyze the traffic sources, check for diverse revenue streams, and ensure that there is a steady income. You also want to look at the marketing strategy and make sure that there is an essential or strong marketing strategy. Having a strong marketing strategy will ensure the success of your e-commerce business. You want to learn how to evaluate the current marketing tactics of that business and identify the areas of improvement. So remember, get ready to boost those sales when you can improve that business. Next, evaluating the team, the team that's behind running that e-commerce store. It matters. You want to look through the process of what types of employees there are at the business, who's the owner, how many owners, any contractors, and all the necessary skills and expertise to run that business. Because if you don't have those skills and you don't have the people behind the skills, you're going to need to find the people to help you with those skills that you are lacking. Next tip, don't get caught up in hidden legal or financial surprises. You want to check all the licenses, the permits, the tax obligations, and ongoing financial commitments related to the business. The legal issues are what can make or break your business as well. Next tip, remember, happy customers mean successful businesses. Learn how to analyze customer retention rates and satisfaction levels because they will gauge the potential for long-term success in your business. The next tip is technology. It is the backbone of an e-commerce business. We're online. You want to evaluate the website stability, loading times, security measures, and ensuring that there is a seamless shopping experience for your customers. No one wants a hard to find website where they can't find their products. Next tip, I know there are tons of financing options and everybody wants cash, cash is king, but seller financing can be a game changer. Understand how it works and how it could both benefit you, the buyer, and the seller. So understanding how it's beneficial and making that win-win scenario when using seller financing is critical because it will provide the seller with another option to consider. You also want to understand the reason for selling the business. Why is it being sold? Especially if it's profitable. This can give you valuable insights. You want to look at those common reasons and also those red flags to look out for and when to run. <laughs> Up next, consider evaluating the competition. No business exists in a vacuum. I wish. You want to assess the competitive landscape 
and develop a strategy to outshine the competition because customers want to choose you over your competitors. You also want to plan for a smooth transition. This is essential. You want to ensure that there are all necessary knowledge and documentation that they are for you available and they are all transferred correctly because this can set you up for success as a new owner. You want to make sure all the accounts, everything is transferred in a most seamless fashion as possible. Also, seeking professional advice is key. Buying an e-commerce business, it's very complex and there's a lot of things to consider. You want to engage with professionals to make the process smoother and more successful. So find the right professionals to talk to and make them part of your buying team. Also, don't go overboard with your finances. You want to determine your budget and stick to it. Avoid those financial constraints. Remember, it's like in real estate. You don't want to buy a house that you cannot afford and pay long term for. So know what you can afford and stick to it. <laughs> Lastly, we made it to tip 17. Woohoo! Passion and skills matter. Learn how to choose an e-commerce business that aligns with your interests and expertise. This will increase your chances of success. If you purchase a business that you know nothing about, you're going to have to find people to help you learn more about it. And that's totally doable. But if it's your first business, find something that you know things about to make it easier and set you up for success so you're more confident in it. Congratulations! You've made it through my ultimate guide on buying an e-commerce business. Armed with 17 expert tips, you're now ready to make a smart and successful purchase. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share it and also hit the subscribe button so you can get more content like this one. Until next time, happy hunting and good luck on your e-commerce journey.